Hello, welcome to my forward look video. And first of all, my eco tip of the, uh, the week. Um, I've just been sent a pair of bamboo socks made out of bamboo material. One of the biggest contributors to landfill is clothes, cheap clothes, worn once or twice and then thrown away. We need to be far more environmentally friendly about the clothes we buy and the materials from which they are made. And bamboo is just one of the sustainable materials that clothes are now um, made out of. Actually better for you, breathes um, better as well. So just be aware of that. Now do send me some of your eco tips because I've come up with a long list that so far. Lots of people keep mentioning uh, things to me. Send me your tips and I'm very happy to publicize them on this video. Now we just cleaned up after the, not the Lord Mayor show, but the state opening of Parliament. The Queen's been here to set out the uh, Queen's speech, which is basically the government's programme for the next year. It contains no fewer than 22 uh, bills, a lot of legislation uh, and very little mention of Brexit, thank goodness, because this is all about what the government wants to do when we get through Brexit. So we had a lot of measures around uh, law and order, particularly around rehabilitation in uh, prisons, which I'm uh, pleased about. We had confirmation of the additional money for uh, schools. Uh, parts of legislation will need for the uh, NHS plan, confirmation of spending on defence, uh, confirmation that the domestic abuse bill is being uh, carried over. But a really big section of the Queen's speech around the environment. We've got a whole day on Thursday of debating the Queen's speech on the climate uh, crisis. The environmental principles are going to be enshrined in law. There are going to be legally enforceable targets and there is going to be proper regulation by an independent environment uh, regulator. That is really important stuff that I particularly uh, welcome. So we're going to be debating uh, the Queen's speech until next um, Tuesday. I've got a number of other meetings here uh, this, uh, this week. I shall be attending a seminar we've got with WASPy uh, women, those women uh, who've done so badly bought for pensions uh, who were born in the 1950s. I co-chair the all-party group on that. They're coming in a big lobby to Parliament on uh, Wednesday. Uh, then uh, I've got a meeting with the British uh, Youth Council talking about what's in the Queen's speech for uh, young people and what more we need to do for, uh, for them. Uh, later on in the week, I'm going to be meeting the new Chief Inspector for the Ada and Worthing uh, Division. Uh, I've got my usual uh, surgery at Southwick on uh, Friday uh, and then of course on Saturday um, I'm not going to be at my normal Lansing Street surgery because Parliament is meeting on a Saturday for the first time since the Falklands uh, invasion to discuss hopefully a new deal coming back from the EU Council meeting uh, which the Prime Minister will be attending at the end of this week and I hope and I'm cautiously optimistic that at long last we can get a deal so we can get beyond Brexit and then we can get on with all the important stuff that was set out in the Queen's speech today and I know that's what constituents want to see.